in the transform menu, we find flow along curve. We also find it in the transform toolbar. Right here, flow along curve. And we also have it in the transform tab, flow along curve. Now, notice that I have here in my screen, I have rhinoceros written down in text in curves and in solids. And I used the text tool to create that, very simple. Just click it, type uh, rhinoceros, pick my font, and then I have rhinoceros and the rhinoceros solids. Notice that there is a line underneath and a line underneath that one, right? So what I want to do is I want to flow those letters uh, around a circle or around any, it could be any curve, but in this case I'm going to choose a circle. Uh, I'm going to use zero for the origin. And let's go with a radius of, uh, let's say, uh, four inches. Now, I need to find out the circumference of this circle so that I can make sure that I make this the correct length, the correct size, so that it goes right onto the circle with the least amount of distortion. So, I'm going to go to Analyze length, choose the circle, press enter, and the command line is telling me is 25.133. So I'm going to gonna go with 25. Uh, so I'm going to create a line from around anywhere over here that is 25 inches. Hit enter and click. Right? Notice that we are close, but it's just not the right length. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these two together. I'm going to go to Transform, Orient, Two Points. And uh, Scale is set to 3D. So make sure if your scale is no, click it and then pick 3D from the option. Could also be 2D, but I just picked 3D uh, already. And I don't need to copy. And I'm going to go from this one to this one to there and there. And now our lettering has been scaled up to the correct length uh, to go on that circle. Now there's a duplicate line here now, so I'm just going to get rid of one there. Since I want rhinoceros to read around the circle, I need to make sure the seam of the circle is down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go to adjust close curve seam in our curve tools. Pick the circle, enter, and it's over here. So I'm going to activate quad and bring that down here. Enter. Now, now I'm going to select these letters. Then go to Transform, Flow Along Curve. I'm going to click right here at the beginning of this curve and click here at the beginning of this curve. And there, as you can see, Rhinoceros is taken to the circle. Very simple. Now we can try it with the solids. We select Rhinoceros. Flow along curve from the beginning to the beginning. And there, as you can see, it works with solids and it also works with the curves. In the transform menu, we find flow along surface. In the transform toolbar, we find flow along surface and in the transform tab we also find flow along surface. Now notice that I have our my rhinoceros letters there are solids. I have a surface underneath them 
uh, defining how I want these to be oriented on this surface. So I want those letters to be going around that surface with a small distance from the edge and a separation between the R and the S down here. So the first thing I need to make sure is that the seam of this surface is down here. So I'm going to go to Surface Tools and go to Adjust Close Surface Seam. And it looks like it's already there. As you can see, the white line right there. So it's already there. So I'm just going to click for safety, but it's already there. So this surface begins here, goes around, and ends right there, which means this gap will end up being down here. Now I'm going to select my solid letters. Then I'm going to go to Transform, Flow Along Surface. Now notice that I'm going to choose right underneath the R on my surface, on, my, on the base surface. The base surface is going to be underneath the R. And then on the target surface, I'm going to go to where I think the R is going to more or less land. So I know if it's split is here and this surface goes around that way, I need the R somewhere around here reading that way. So I'll click right here. And there it is. As you can see, we have our letters uh, still solids, you know, on our on our surface.